everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis of McElroy. I'm your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you wascally wabbit. Happy birthday to you. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. We are, uh, we're celebrating the life of Bugs Bunny, who oh. turns 80 years old today. Oh. I mean, he doesn't. So excited to have, he's not on the show, um, but if he was, I think he'd sound a little something like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. but but he wasn't born, right? So he'll never die. He was born. Just because he'll never well, die doesn't mean he was born. Well, so quick to judge because Maud Flanders died famously Thank of you. Simpsons. So there is precedent that cartoon characters can pass away and we write about it in our TV guide and we try to solve who shot Mr. Burns and it's very now, important to us. So Bugs Bunny could get very, very sick, Travis, with some sort of some sort of dis disease for rabbits. Yeah, some kind of carrot related thing. Some sort of thing like that, yes. Uh, like maybe he just he ate some tainted carrots and shit himself to death. And he gets to, and he's little. Rabbits are little. It wouldn't take much, would it? And you're thinking about it now. He's a fragile little guy. We have to protect this 80 year old rabbit man. You know, I never cared for his antics. I'm just gonna put it right out there. Thanks. If you of of all the kind of cartoon, uh, I would say figureheads. Mm -hmm. uh, I I always found Bugs Bunny's acerbic wit. And Jay Bree to be a little bit, uh, a, a little bit on the mean this side. This is now. This is the moment where we can exclusively reveal that Travis was adopted. His birth name was Travis Fudd. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I'm so I, I I'm glad we could finally put that out into the world. I don't think I'm, you I'm, have to be cut from that particular bald, impotent cloth to to hate this rabbit. I think dude sucks. You Thank watch you. Space Jam, fucking Lola Bunny shows up like, hey everybody, check out how good I am at basketball. And this fucking idiot rabbit's like, I have a bone in her. It's like, yo, like she didn't come here for you to do that, Bugs. She came here to play basketball with Michael Jordan, which is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If I rolled well, up I to mean, that gym and was like, let me play basketball, show you how good I am. Taz, check out how good I am at dunking. And fucking, you know, Wile E. Coyote was like, mm, let me fuck you. I would be like, this is not what I signed up for. Okay, uh, Griffin, to be fair, hmm? please don't besmirch Wile E. Coyote. He brought you dinner first, and he would... He would ask for consent. He would hold up a little sign that would say, mm, gotta fuck you. He wouldn't say it out loud. He, would, he like, would hold up a sign that said, would it be okay if I fucked you? Can I talk about the stuff that I want to talk about with Bugs Bunny? Is it about how much he sucks? I did my tri I did my research on Bugs Bunny. All right. I looked up some facts and figures and stats. And I have two things I'd like to share with you about Bugs Bunny. Thank you, the mental floss, as always, for, for paring all of human history down to the real <laughs> tank nugs. Uh, here's one fact that I'd like to discuss. In several psychological studies about false beliefs, uh -huh. scientists have shown people fake advertisements for Disney World featuring Bugs Bunny. A significant portion of subjects then claim to remember going to Disney and meeting Bugs, even though Warner Brothers' character would never be on display at a Disney theme park. Now, okay. Hey. I want to be the, I want to hang out with these people who are like, F yeah, it's fucking it's all Bugs Bunny. I remember when I was there, it was me and the mouse and Bugs, all through my best friends, just hanging out. How much time do you think there had to be between showing them these fake ads and then asking them, like, hey, look at this ad. Do you remember this? Yes? Yeah, I guess. Do you remember I, when you saw Bugs Bunny? Oh, yeah, I think he was there. Although, yeah, to be fair to si to be unfair to science, I guess I should say, to be fair to these people who were in the study, if you show me a commercial for, for, for Disney World featuring Bugs Bunny, and then they're like, is Bugs Bunny a Disney World? I would probably say, well, it'd be a fucking weird commercial if he's not, huh? <laughs> they're going to have a lawsuit so. on their hands, huh? <laughs> who, who is wasting their time making false Disney World ads if not? That's weird. I mean, to be fair, there is a lot of weird stuff at Disney now. Sometimes I'm reminded that the Muppets are owned by Disney, and that seems interesting and strange. Yeah. But if someone said, was Bugs Bunny at Disney? I'd be like, I don't know, man. You said you'd give me $100 if I did this study. Is that now? Do I? Is it check or cash, or what's the deal? Um, I, my second fact about Bugs right. is uh, in 1961, uh, Mel Blanc, who voiced Bugs Bunny, got into a serious car accident that left him in a coma for weeks. Eventually, a doctor tried to get the unresponsive patient to talk by asking him, 
Bugs Bunny, how are you doing today? Blank responded in Bugs' voice, what's up, Doc? Later, the doctor would say of the incident, it seemed like Bugs Bunny was trying to save his life. Oh, God. That's <laughs> that not a good, is... and that doctor's license to do literally anything that involves helping people medically, touching people, <laughs> being near people, was instantly Driving a car. Provoked. He shouldn't Driving be allowed to do anything. <laughs> so this, so are you telling this doctor after this moment, like, went back to the other, other doctors is like, Bugs Bunny is, listen, I know that how this is going to sound, but Bugs Bunny is in there, and he's trying to help me save this man's life. You Anyways, know, next, I'm going to go write a movie called Monkey Bone now, if you'll yeah. excuse me. The next morning, he came in all embarrassed, like, guys, I'm sorry, I watched Patch Adams 30 years before before it came out and <laughs> it led me to some questionable decisions hate this fucking rabbit let's this talk about something I'm else saying. i'm you dumb guys man. you know if if donald duck was talking shit mickey wouldn't trick a hunter into shooting him that's what True. i'm saying yeah right? like yeah. mickey mouse would never be like Haha, it's duck season fucker like he wouldn't do that yeah it's like if, if peg like pete was there and he was terrorizing Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse wouldn't be like, stab Donald to death instead. Yeah. Um, my, yeah. We were, we were watching a Donald Duck cartoon mm. recently, and my two-year-old uh, just out of nowhere loudly announced, Donald Duck is a grass hole. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> what? He said, Donald Duck, he's a grass hole. And we, we, after a little bit of searching and digging, we found out that she had confu confused him with Donald Trump. It was just echoing things that we had said around the house. <laughs> All right, cool. Donald, so Donald Duck is a grass hole now. Is that, is that how you sort of like get your political frustration out? As you walk around your house loudly proclaiming that Donald Trump is an asshole? No, my five-year-old does that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then so. Okay, cool. Okay. I was so going to say that's probably down. not, that ain't going to move the needle. That ain't going to move the national enough. conversation it's a, forward. It's a, big, it's a big tit at our house. We like to let all political <laughs> views. Uh, foment.